All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today I'm going to show you how to randomly arrange these four objects in the shape of this big circle using a script that you can get for free and install into Adobe Illustrator. So as we get started, you'll probably notice that your scripts window down here under File Scripts is practically empty, and you're like, what the heck, Larry? I don't have that. I know you don't. That's why there's a link to download that in the video description below, along with a link to the video that I have made on how to install all of these so that you actually can use them. Once you've done that and restarted your Illustrator and can see all of that, we can proceed to the next step. So basically, the script that we're going to use is called Fillinger. It's made by a guy on GitHub who's made a lot of wonderful little scripts that do a couple of useful things. In this case, it's going to randomly assemble these objects into the shape of this circle so that we can use it in a design. So what we have to do is we're going to select all of this stuff at once. We're going to go to File, we're going to go to Scripts, and we're going to select Fillinger. We're going to make sure that over here in the side, at the bottom, it says Random Items, If Items in the Group. We're going to select that, and that's going to randomly pick and randomize all of these different items inside of that circle that are inside of like this selection of stuff. So that'll be the square, the little leaf pattern, the triangle, all that stuff. We can set a minimum distance we want these objects to be apart from each other. We can make a size revalue to make them bigger or smaller. And then we can also make it so that they're rotated randomly. The item fill is on top below, what have you, and then we can have it down here, randomize the items that are in the group, and then you can also tell it to remove the items to fill after executing or group them all together. I don't necessarily need to do that because this is one of those things I do when I'm kind of building another thing. I'm arranging them in a way that is visually appealing to then stuff it into another thing. So I'm going to hit OK because the defaults are pretty OK for this. I'm just going to delete the circle in the background, and then boom! All of the stuff here is now arranged in a random cacophony of shapes and sizes, and you can play around with the minimum and maximum value of like how big they can get, or how small they can get, in order to make this more visually crazy if you want, or you can just leave it like that, we can select it, and then we can hit Control g to group it, and now we can use this for our project, and it makes a great visual sort of confetti effect in order to create some complexity to a design. So I hope you found that helpful. I've been your host, Larry. Don't forget to like and subscribe. This has been a brief look at how to use the Fillinger script to fill an object with random little shaped objects that you pre-created. So bye, everybody, and have a good one.